Hello friends, welcome to Doubt Forum. This question is a body is executing simple harmonic motion with frequency n and we are asked to find the frequency of its potential energy. So as we can see that this question is based on the simple harmonic motion. So simple harmonic motion is a special type of periodic motion in which the object repeats its motion after a certain period of time. The second important thing is that the restoring force of a simple harmonic motion is given by F equals minus K into X. Here this X is representing the displacement from its mean position and this minus sign is showing that the restoring force always acts towards the mean position. So that is why there is a minus sign because the direction of this restoring force is always towards the mean position. Here we will understand the simple harmonic motion with the help of a motion of a simple pendulum. So let's say this is a string and there is a bob of certain mass is tied on the one end of this string. So if this portion of the string is fixed, so we can see that this bob can move in both the direction like this so it could be one of its extreme position or this could be the second extreme position so this bob can move between these two extreme points so this is the mean position this is the one extreme side and this is the another extreme side in this question we are asked to find the frequency of the potential energy of a simple harmonic motion so as we can see that this bob can travel between these two points so what will happen when the bob is at this point or we can say that at one of the extreme points and then it travels back towards the mean position and the moment it passes from the mean position what will happen it will have the maximum velocity it will have the maximum velocity and then it will travel towards the another extreme point and the, in this extreme point it will have the lowest velocity or we can say that it will have a zero velocity and then it changes its direction and again it moves towards the mean position and follows towards the another extreme position. So at the extreme point the velocity would be zero but in the mean position the velocity would be maximum. This is the one point and if we discuss the energy in the SHM because there is a velocity in this system so due to the virtue of its velocity there would be certain kinetic energy in this system because the formula of kinetic energy is half mv square because there is a velocity so the kinetic energy would be stored in this system the second thing is that as we can see that when the bob is its mean position it will be closest to the ground or we can say that the height from the ground is minimum here the height is minimum height is minimum and when the bob moves towards any of the extreme points the height would be maximum h would be maximum in the both the extreme points h would be maximum in the mean position the height would be minimum because there is a variation in the height during this path so because of the virtue of its position there would be a potential energy so there would be a potential energy which is given by mgh. So in case of kinetic energy here this v is variable because the velocity is continuously changing and in case of potential energy the height is continuously changing so because there is a variation in the height so the potential energy would not be same throughout however it will change. When where the height is minimum, the potential energy would be minimum. Where the height is maximum, the potential energy would be maximum. Similar is the case with the kinetic energy. Where the value of velocity is minimum or zero, we can say that the kinetic energy is min minimum or zero. And at the point where the velocity is maximum, at that point, the kinetic energy would be maximum. So if we mark the kinetic and potential energy in these three points, we will find that the kinetic energy in the mean position would be maximum because the velocity is maximum here the kinetic energy would be maximum and the potential energy in the mean position would be minimum.
because the height is minimum in the mean position so the potential energy which is given by mgh would be minimum in the extreme position because the velocity is zero so the kinetic energy in the extreme position would be zero in both the extreme points the velocity is zero so the kinetic energy in both the extreme points would be zero and the potential energy at the extreme points would be maximum because the value of h is maximum at both the extreme points so here the potential energy would be maximum here also the potential energy would be maximum so this is how the variation in the kinetic and the potential energy takes place during the motion the third thing which is very important to understand is this because this system has got certain kinetic energy as well as the potential energy so the energy of such system can be described in terms of the total mechanical energy mechanical energy is nothing but the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy as we can see that the kinetic energy is a variable and the potential energy is also a variable but the total mechanical energy at any point of this motion would be constant because we can see when the kinetic energy is minimum the potential energy is maximum or when the kinetic energy is maximum the potential energy is minimum so the sum of kinetic plus potential energy at any point within this motion would be constant so the total mechanical energy of this system would always be constant which is the sum of kinetic energy plus the potential energy now let's find out the frequency of kinetic energy as well as the potential energy as we can see that if the frequency of this simple pendulum is n so it means that in one second in one second there are n number of repetition of the motion so because the frequency is given as n so what it means that when the bob starts from mean position it reaches towards the extreme position one of the extreme position and it comes back towards the mean position and it reaches towards the second extreme position and again it comes back to the mean position this is the one cycle so in one second there are n number of such cycle taking place now if we want to find out the frequency of kinetic energy or potential energy what we have to do we have to find out that during this process with the process from mean position to one extreme position then coming back to the mean position going towards the another extreme position and coming back to the mean position this is the one cycle during this cycle how many times does the kinetic as well as the potential energy is changing so we can see that at the mean position the potential energy is maximum let's say the maximum is 5 and we are just assuming that the maximum value of kinetic energy is 5 at the extreme points the kinetic energy is zero so here what is happening during this cycle from mean to one extreme then to mean then to another extreme then to mean this is the one cycle in this cycle what is happening i am just marking the variation in the kinetic energy when the part this bob is in mean position the kinetic energy is 5 when it moves towards the extreme position the kinetic energy becomes zero when it comes back to the mean position the kinetic energy becomes 5 when it reaches towards the another extreme position the kinetic energy becomes 0 and when it comes back to the mean position the kinetic energy is 5 so this is the one cycle or one cycle of this motion but during this one cycle the frequency of kinetic energy is 5 to 0 0 to 5 then 5 to 0 and 0 to 5 so the one cycle for the change in potential energy is 5 to 0 and 0 to 5 so this is the one cycle and again 5 to 0 and 0 to 5 so in one cycle of motion the total number of cycle of the kinetic energy is 2 because the one cycle of motion is starts from mean position reaches towards the one extreme then coming back to the mean going towards the another extreme and going coming back to the mean 
so this is the one cycle of this motion and during this one cycle of motion the two cycle of kinetic energy is taking place the one cycle is 5 to 0 and 0 to 5 this is the one cycle another 5 to 0 and 0 to 5 this is the second cycle so in one cycle of motion there are two cycles in the kinetic energy so if the frequency of this motion is n so the frequency of kinetic energy would be 2n so this is the this is for the kinetic energy now let's talk about the potential energy here the potential energy in the mean position is minimum or we can assume it to be zero because minimum is zero we, we are just assuming it is not always true that the minimum is zero in the extreme points the value of potential energy is maximum so let's say again it is five i am just assuming that the maximum value of potential energy is five so in this extreme point the value of potential energy would be five now again the one cycle of this motion starts from the mean position reaches toward the one extreme position coming back to the mean position going back to the second extreme points and coming back to the mean position this is the one cycle of this motion during this one cycle how many times the potential energy is changing when the value when this bob is in its mean position the value of potential energy is zero here the potential energy is 5 when it comes back here the potential energy becomes 0 when it reaches here the potential energy is 5 and when the bob comes back to the mean position its value again becomes 0 so the value is changing 0 to 5 and 5 to 0 again 0 to 5 and 5 to 0 so for one cycle of this motion for one cycle of this motion the value of potential energy having two cycles the one cycle is 0 to 5 and 5 to 0 this is the one cycle 0 to 5 and 5 to 0 again the same pattern is repeating 0 to 5 and 5 to 0 so this is the cycle of potential energy so for one cycle of this motion there are two cycles of the potential energy so for one cycle of motion there are two cycles in the potential energy so if the frequency of this motion is n so the frequency of the potential energy would be 2n this is how we can calculate the value of frequency for kinetic energy as well as the potential energy in this question we are asked to find the frequency of the potential energy so our answer 2n would be the right one so thank you for watching if you still have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel doubt forum see you in the next video till then take care bye bye